Welcome to vlog two on the journey of adapting Robin Wall Kimmerer's beautiful book, Braiding Sweetgrass, for our young readers ages 12 and up. As you might remember in the first vlog, this week was the focus on the section Picking Sweetgrass, and that my goal was to take all of those chapters and begin to pull out, you know, those three strands of the braid, indigenous wisdom, science, and teaching of the plants. And so I got a good chunk done, you can see there, but you also see there are gaps that I didn't quite meet my goal. And I wanted to share that because that's like life, right? That sometimes we meet our goals and sometimes we don't. But it wasn't that I was being lazy. In all of that, I really got hooked into the chapter Honorable Harvest and did a huge uh, reworking of that chapter from just over 10,000 words to we're at about 5,000 right now, which is big because the book itself is up to between 40 and 50,000 words. So I have about a third of the space of the original manuscript. And it's interesting because a couple mornings ago, I woke up with this dream where I was in this space and there was this huge round container. And I only know what it was because my mom used to work in a packing house in Kelowna. And it was like the big containers the fruit go in and it had apples in it. And in the dream, the message was, you need a bigger box. And so it has me thinking about, you know, how how do we take this space of 40 to 50,000 words and make it bigger yet? Not size wise, but the stories, the importance of the teachings around our ways, indigenous ways, around science and the plants. And I know that Nicole Neardhart and her incredible gifts of, as an illustrator will bring a lot of the story to life also. The other day I went for a walk. My process is usually I get up really early and I write all morning, I have lunch, and then I go for a walk and I listen to the audiobook and I listen to the chapter that I'll be working on the next day. And then that evening I tinker, I do wordsmithing. And for the last few weeks I've done that to the World Series. Uh, but now I'm doing it to Schitt's Creek because I need that energy of the joy and the laughter as I'm doing that little bit of tinkering. But as I went for my walk, what came to me was, you know, early to bed, early to rise keeps the creative heart alive. And so for me, when I get up in the morning to come and work on this project, it is a privilege. I feel incredibly honored. So I arrive at my laptop and in this room with all these stickies and papers and moving parts from a place of joy and excitement, which is very different than obligation. So as I head into this next week, uh, probably working more on picking sweetgrass section, I hope that your week is full of joy and of excitement and opportunities for you to use your gifts for good.